that the, our topic or concept I want to talk about would be on plant transport. So in tran plant transport, what should come to your mind naturally would be the two vessels that are very important. And that would be your phloem and your xylem. So more commonly known as your food carrying and your water carrying tube. Now, it is also important to note that if the question asks you what is the function of these tubes, you must tell me transport what from where to where. So I will pen it down for you just in a little while as we go through the revision. <clears throat> so if they ask for function, it is extremely important to note that for the xylem, which is your watery carrying tube, it transports. So what substance does it transport? Water and dissolve mineral salt. Okay, or minerals, that's fine. Okay, from the roots to the leaves. Or you can say all parts of the plant. That's fine. Now, in the past, many students will just write water alone. No. Water alone will only give you half a mark. You must tell me that it's together with mineral salts. And then after that, what is the function of your phloem or your food carrying tube? It will be to transport food or sugar from the leaves to all parts of the body. Sorry, all parts of the plant. Okay, so you need to know this. What are we transporting and from where to where? This is extremely important. Now, just in case you don't know, the food that is getting transported, all right, is basically the food that is made in the leaves. So in, uh, in short, your function, right, um, when you answer questions on plant transport, it is actually related to photosynthesis. I will show you later. <clears throat> Why do I say so? I mean, just to teach forward. Your xylem carries water. Water is required for photosynthesis. If your xylem gets affected in any way, your rate of photosynthesis will also be affected. So let's take a look at this question. Felicia conducted another experiment on a fruit tree in the eco garden. She removed the outer ring from the stem of the tree, as shown in the diagram below. So why outer ring? Now, if you recall, some of um, you might have remembered that this is a very typical diagram that you would see. So if I were to take a black ink and I divide it out, I'm going to color the part orange. The part that is colored in orange, the inner ring is actually your xylem. Now, the other part, which I'm going to color green so that we can see it better, is going to be our phloem, our food carrying tubes. So when the person remove away the outer ring, we are actually just removing away the phloem, leaving the xylem intact. So how does that affect the tree? Let's take a look. After some time, it was observed that the fruit grew growing above part, uh, growing above 
part A, this is part A over here, were bigger than those growing below. Okay, now this is very important. Explain why bigger fruits were produced above part A where the outer ring was removed. This is where most students will have issues answering plant transport question. Now we know that the cut was made over here. How do we make reference? So what does it mean? So first thing, when you remove the outer ring, you are actually removing the xylem or the food carrying tube. Okay, this is actually being removed, no more. So when that happens, what actually happens is that all the food that is made above, okay, above point A can no longer be transported down below point A. So I repeat again, you need to make a reference. Below point A, Okay, so point A is here. You have to say it cannot be transported below point A or below the uh, part A. Alright, so because it cannot be transported here, it needs to go somewhere, right? So instead, it will be stored inside the fruits. I'm going to draw in the fruits for us. I'm going to assume that these are grapes fruits. Now, it is also very important to note that any food that is stored in your fruits will be excess food. Only when the plant has excess food, then it will be stored in your fruits. So how do we make our fruits bigger? There is actually more excess food being stored over here. Okay, so let's see how we can pan it down. So first things first, you have to tell me what was being removed. So the fact that a certain part was removed, you need to identify that for me. So you have to tell me that at part A, the food carrying tube was removed. So because it is removed, what happened next? Food made by leaves above point or part A can no longer or cannot be transported below Part A. So I am making reference here. And then after that, because it can no longer be transported below part A, more excess food more excess food is then transported to the fruits making it bigger okay now i'm also going to explain to you what happens if the the food carrying tubes were cut not at part A, but at a lower part over here. Say we cut it over here at part B. Now, when this happens, it is very important to note that the whole plant would die. The whole plant would die. This is very different. Why? When the food carrying tube is removed at point B, all the leaves are above point B. So, so every single every single leaf over here will not be able what well, the food that is made here will not be able to be transported below towards the roots so the roots will not get any any food at all so because of that eventually the roots will die when the roots die it cannot absorb water so without any water all the leaves on top okay will not be able to photosynthesize and make food eventually the whole plant will just die 
And that is how you um, answer questions on plant transport.